Hi, I want to show you how to replace a pre-lubricated shaft and sheath onto your motor. Okay, you're, you're going to need a one inch crescent wrench. Put it over the motor connector and loosen it. Remember, it's got a left-handed thread. The newer motor connectors will have an arrow to show you which way to go. Remember to unplug your motor first before you do any of this. Okay. Take your small screwdriver and loosen the set screw holding the sheath. Now you can slide the sheath out in your old shaft. This might get messy. Slide the motor connector down. Next. Now you're gonna have to remove the already lubricated shaft and sheath from your new sheath. Next, remove. Your old shaft, put the new one on. Make sure the coupling is all the way up. Then, replace the motor connector. Then, replace your sheath. Tighten your motor connector. You don't need to over tighten it, just make it snug. Then what you want to do is adjust your sheath to your motor connector. You see that there's a large area here. You don't need to go all the way up to bottom it out because then your shaft will stick out too far. You only want it to stick out about three quarters of an inch. So you slide that sheath down right about there, and then you tighten up the motor connector. Next, hang up your motor, plug it back in, run it for 20 minutes at high speed, okay? With no handpiece on it, so that the grease will work its way around, any extra come out, and you wipe it off with a rag at the bottom before you put your handpiece on. Grease gets into the handpiece, it'll make it run hot. That's all there is to it.